Today's storm thankfully fell short of worst case scenario, but it did hit some neighborhoods harder than others, especially in the River Valley. And THV 11's David Lippman shows us the damage it caused along one street in Pope County. Neighbors are starting to clean up the debris after a handful of trees fell on Hurricane Lane not far from Atkins. Everything's fine now, but they weren't sure that was the case earlier in the day. When the rain stopped falling in Pope County, it revealed fallen trees. Up and down Hurricane Lane, several trees blown over. One, Sheriff Shane Jones said, falling on top of a woman just behind her home. She seems to be okay right now. Yes, she was very, she was respon uh, responsive and, and, and talking to people. Sheriff's deputies and firefighters had to help free her from the tree before they could get her into an ambulance. The sheriff said it was tricky because power lines were knocked down in several spots on that mile and a half long road. Yes, it is very dangerous, uh, especially, you know, we, we caution folks, please be careful because anytime, you know, a storm like this blows through, it, it has potential having power lines on the ground. The debris spread around the neighborhood was the roof on a chicken farm storage building. This microburst resulted in winds upwards of 80 miles per hour. That's enough to send a tree on top of a woman who was just finishing mowing the grass. We're just blessed that, that, that she's okay and uh, that uh, nobody else was hurt. You know, she's a lucky lady today. Sheriff Jones said that this was the only real bad spot in Pope County and that for as much energy as this storm packed earlier in the week in Oklahoma, he's grateful that this was all that they saw. Reporting near Atkins, David Lippman, THV 11 News.